Hi everyone, I'm David, this is Laura. We're here to talk about the first episode of Netflix's new series, Lost in Space. That's right, new. This is not the 1965 version. This is not the 1998 movie that's gonna be able to stream. No, this is the brand new live action series, 10 episodes. Lost in Space is back. It is, and it's, it's actually really good. It is really I really good. like it. I was surprised because my only understanding of the whole franchise was the 1998 movie, which was not the best. Doesn't hold up that well in hindsight. I will disagree with you on that. I actually quite enjoy <laughs> the 1998. Go back and watch that now. It, it, it is good. It's a classic. It is good. It's Matt, gonna... Matt LeBlanc, William Hurt. That um, weird monkey thing. The weird yeah. monkey thing. Uh, but Too, this, we digress. This is a more modern version of Lost in Space. And when you watch the trailer, you kind of think it's like, this is going to be maybe a more lighthearted series, but mm -hmm. it's actually, I don't want to say dark, but it's it's not lighthearted in the way you might think. No. It, it kind of stays away from the camp yes. and tells a very compelling family drama. It has a lot more in common with Battlestar. Galactica, the reboot of Battlestar Galactica, I think, in terms of the scope. It's a beautiful show. It's so well realized. The kind of landscape that they find themselves in is just gorgeous. Um, it was filmed in Vancouver, I think. So that gives you a lot of options, for, like beautiful mountains mm -hmm. and snowy peaks and that kind of thing. Yeah, the special effects are done in a way where you can kind of see like where the real mountains end in mm -hmm. the special effects, the but it's still it just it just it's seamless, I think, in a way too. It kind of it just it looks real, like it looks yeah. like a real world. It's They've done lively. a really good job on the world building on it for sure. So all the Robinson family is here. Yes. We have Papa John, Mama Maureen, Sister Judy, Sister Penny, and Brother Will. Everybody. Danger there. Will Robinson. Danger Will. Will Robinson. Danger Will Robinson. Yes. Yes. And we do get some of that, which we will talk about later. We will. Um, but I think it's a really savvy choice that they kind of throw you in at the deep end with the narrative. You kind of get to know these characters bit by bit. You kind of get straight into the action, and then they show you in flashback how the family isn't exactly perfect. It's not kind of the idyllic Robinson Crusoe idea. There, there's a lot of conflict beneath the surface between all of these characters, honestly. Yeah, it's funny if you, uh, we have a great article on the site right now comparing uh, this version of Lost in Space to the 1965 version. If you look at those photos of the Robinson family, it's it's very Leave it to Beaver, very, mm -hmm, very, very, ha tea. very happy, just yeah. like, you know, good old American family. Um, but, you know, there, there's, there's some drama here. Yeah. There's some history. I love, I love all the characters in the Robinson family. They're all very interesting. I mean, look at John, who's this uh, Marine. Yeah. You know, he's a little distant. And again, with the flashbacks, you see him in different stages of his life. Sometimes yeah. he's a little bit warmer to his family. Yeah. Other times he's cold. And he's yeah. a very military leader, as opposed to the William Hurt version that mm. we had in the movie, who was just kind of more of the distant scientist. This guy's a distant military yeah. man. So yeah. I, I like that part about it. Yeah. yeah, and Maureen is kind of more of the scientist. Molly more Parker's the, great. She is fantastic. Yeah. They're also good. Yeah. Like, the kids are so well drawn. They're like the performers are fantastic, honestly. All the kids kind of have a different role. Yes. Judy is the oldest. She is the one who is supposed to be the one kind of, I guess, leading the kids, but yeah. you know, she has she, kind of medical background, does, so anytime yeah. that there's a spill or an accident, mm -hmm. she she can fix them up. But she has uh, again, we'll get into spoilers here, but she has some moments where she struggles with that leadership. Yeah. Um, you know, and a lot of pressure is put on her. You know, this is a crazy situation. They were on a mission and things went wrong and they crashed on this planet. And uh, you see the kids step up in different ways. You have the middle child, Penny, mm -hmm. who is very much the middle very child. Middle but child. She, she's the rebellious one, the one who feels kind of lost and all, not to, no pun intended there. Then of course you have Will, yeah. who I think this kid, I'm glad they cast young. They could have maybe went a little bit older. Yeah, but Maxwell he, Jenkins Maxwell is his Jenkins name. Is he, he's just such a good one mm -hmm. to watch in terms of his dynamic with the robot. We can tell you that there is a robot. A there robot. is <clears throat> there is a line, Danger Will Robinson. If you are holding out for that, mm -hmm. you will be satisfied. Um, but he's just such a fascinating performer. Like you see so much just from his expressions without him needing to kind of say too much. He's a very watchful character. And the way they also talk about the flashbacks, going back to that, the way they kind of just explain the world, you know, yeah. that they're in, they give you little glimpses. And those glimpses do is they really pull you into the story, but they also make you want to watch more. They don't, there's no like big long text like in a, in a Blade Runner or a Star Wars. Where How like, dare this you? Is, no, hey, those are, those are classic films, great films, but it's not like explain yes. like, hey, this is everything that's going on yeah. right now. What they do instead is like, there'll be there'll be a flashback to a shopping mall. You'll mm -hmm. have to maybe even sometimes pause the screen and you'll see a TV in the background, maybe mm -hmm. with a headline that might explain what's going on. They don't, they don't force speed it to you, which I like. It no. kind of just gives you little clues It's not very heavy in terms no. of exposition. Mm -hmm. They really are kind of leading you and kind of relying on you to find your own way on the on the show, which I think is great. But there are a couple other characters I'd like to, uh, yes. to mention that aren't part of the Robinson family, but are a big part of the show. One of those is the infamous Dr. 
Smith. <laughs> and there is one part, uh, you'll, you'll see when you watch it, I, I think it's a little, the, episode, the series gears, uh, tends to shy away from the campiness. Yes. But there is one part with uh, Dr. Smith that's a little campy, but, but it, it's we fine. We should say it's fine. that <laughs> they have gender flipped Dr. Smith yes. in this iteration. So she is played by Parker Posey, yes. who is fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, really has that kind of malevolent sneakiness that you kind of expect from Dr. Smith, mm -hmm. but uh, also very charismatic, very engaging. You kind of want to trust her, but you know that you can't because she's Dr. Smith. Yeah, you don't really see her coming. I think I'm going to be curious to see as the series comes out and people watch more episodes, what they think of her. Because it's very different than the uh, 1998, you know, film, of course. Uh, with Gary, Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman, you know, he's played some villains before. He's very sinister looking. Um, she's kind of like, should I trust her? Should yeah, I not trust her? I really like that. Attack. There's what also the like? Matthew LeBlanc character. <laughs> Of Don West. Don West, played by Ignacio Siracio. Somebody I'm not familiar with at all. I'm, I'm, uh, I no, I, I, I haven't seen him mm -hmm. in anything before, but he's very charismatic. You uh, get to see a little bit more of him after the uh, pilot episode, like both Dr. Smith and uh, Major West, who is not a major in this, just uh, just Don. Just Don West. He's just, he's just Don West. But and he you'll does, find out why. Yeah, exactly. And he feels a little bit like LeBlanc, though, in the sense that he acts like he's a tough guy. Like yeah. he's, you know, he doesn't care about anything. Very rakish, very yeah, charismatic, but he, he very cares. flirty. He but cares. Yeah. So overall, I mean, I, I think this is a great new series that Netflix has put together. I was impressed. I didn't really have expectations either way. Again, no. I, I enjoyed the 1998 film, maybe Laura, a little more than you. But <laughs> I watched you know, it like five times in the theater. I just didn't want to bring it up. And, for, but and I, I, I missed the original well. series. You know, I wasn't around in 1965. I didn't watch any of the reruns. Yes. I, I, I stuck closer to Star Trek. But this pulled me in. It's a great sci-fi adventure that I'm excited to see more of. I mean, Absolutely. would you agree? Yeah, I can't wait to see more. Um, I've, we've both seen the first two um, mm -hmm. so far. But yeah, it's going to be one that you're going to want to binge straight away, I think. So that is what we thought of Lost in Space, the pilot. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. But that's not the only thing that's out right now on Netflix. We also have our Jessica Jones Season 2 review that you can check out right now, as well as Be the Beginning. It's an exciting new anime series that Netflix put out that I think you want to check out. So be sure to look out for that. And as always, keep it locked right here on IGN.